Well, hello there, YouTubers. It is I, the one, the only, big, and I do mean big, D. Get me a chair here. Coming to you live and in person with another informative, exciting video. But before I get started to all this excitement, have you subscribed? I mean, really, come on, folks. It's time to subscribe. Hit that little bell dingy. Help a brother out, man. Come on. Become a subscriber. Let's get out there and get this word out. Today's topic is exciting, too. What is um, expediting? What is career driving? What is gig work? It's a good topic. Someone ask me, what is the difference in all this? And can you do, you know, van, Korean, and all kinds of different questions. So, first of all, I'm going to make it pretty simple. I'm going to start with expediting. Expediting is quite simple. You're going to sleep in your van. That's right. Expediting, you will be over the road. Think of expediting over the road. Now, you can do local stuff. That comes more Korean. Expediting is mainly over the road. So, you'll pick up at point A, go to point B. For instance, Ohio to California. That's expediting. Career driving, you might pick up in Ohio and go, to, you know, to um, Columbus, Cincinnati to Columbus. And that can be expedited too, but you see a lot of courier companies do that. So expediting, you're going to sleep in your van. You'll pick up, say, Cincinnati, go to I don't know, Laredo, Texas. You'll wait there to get a load out of Laredo because you want to get move get money out of there and hope to get something out so you don't have to deadhead somewhere to get it. Courier driving, an expedited freight is direct. You pick it up, you take it in there, you drop it off. And sometimes you got layovers, you know, it'll deliver over, you know, you pick it up Friday, it delivers Monday morning, or a holiday screws it up. But in courier driving, you're gonna pick up something, right, basically local, within about 50 miles of your city that you're in, or 100, and just run it around. You can use your car, you can use a minivan, you can use an SUV, full-size vans, you can use all of that. In expediting, it's generally gonna take a full-size van or a Sprinter, okay? Or a box truck, you have that too. So, med medical Koreans, where you pick up specimens, you do it in the car. Go up to a lockbox, there'll be a box in the back of the doctor's office, you'll have a key to it. It may say, say Mercy or Children's, since they had Children's. You go up there, open it up, pick up the specimens. A lot of times you have an app, you'll scan the barcode, Take a picture, send it in, and count the specimens and enter the amount of specimens you picked up there. Then you take off and uh, go to the next doctor's office and do that. You'll have a route you'll follow and do that. If it's a stat, they'll take it out there. You need to go inside and get it, or it'll be in the box. Or you can move anything. You know, um, I, I moved a set of golf clubs once from one house to another house. Okay, also moved a doctor's schmock from one hospital to another. They forgot their schmock with their stethoscope. So they called us, we picked it up and moved it. So that being said, that's that's Korean. Korean's always gonna be local. You're always gonna go home at night. Now there's a rare occasion you may get a motel, but for the most part, it's gonna be local. Simple. Gig work. Now there have apps you can do gig work in your van. Is it any good? I don't know. I've never done it. Um, but, you know, you sign on and pick up A and B and drop it off. Um, also, you can do uh, uh, Walmart has a Spark and you go and they're doing home deliveries. So you go into the side lot. There's a place for Spark drivers. You go out there and you let them know you're there and key it in and they bring your stuff out, and you put it in your car, and you go deliver their local deliveries, a.k.a. Spark. Uh, you can do Amazon. Um, I think it's Amazon Flex, where you use your car and pick up stuff and drop it off. You can do that. Uber, Lyft, those are when you pick up people. Everybody doing that. You're doing okay. So, you know, that's called gig work. You know, uh, Grubhub and Uber Eats and all that, where you pick up food at restaurants and things, that's gig work. 
A lot of them do a bunch of them. They're on different platforms and they see what's near them and they grab that and go. Some people make a lot of money doing that. Depends on what you want to do. There's no shame in any of it. Why? Because you're making money. Right now, I'm at my soap store and I'm setting up my back end because I've been doing my uh, eBay store, which I'm doing pretty well at. Orders keep coming in, keep making money. I found a rare pair of Air Jordans the other day for $5. Got them listed at $350. Don't tell me you can't make money at this, folks. Well, if I sell them at three quarter, <laughs> make $320. Yeah, I'm going to work an hard hell. I'll go 300 and be happy. But, you know, it'll take some time for it to sell, maybe a month or two. But at that rate, when you only get five invested, what do you care? Think about that. But, you know, like I said, I got to wait for my feet to heal and the doctor give me okay to get back behind the wheel. When's that going to be? When my feet stop swelling. There you go. But you have to decide what's best for you. If you don't want to be away from home, local, gig work. If you don't mind, you want to make more money, well, you can make good money at home, around home too, so you know. But uh, if you want to, you know, go out there and see America, hey, expediting. Know what you're getting into before you get into it. A lot of people tell you everything's great, sunshine and roses and butterfly kisses, but that's not reality. I want you to understand what you're getting into. I mean, you're going to be sleeping in that van if you're an expediter. It gets awful hot. And I'll tell you, it gets awful cold in winter. So putting in ACs, generators, batteries, and uh, heaters costs money. You know, it's an investment in your comfort. If you're not comfortable, you're not sleeping, you're not sleeping, you're not driving. It's all about what you want to do. Purchasing vehicles, wait. Prices are on the decline. I told you it was coming, and it is. Still well tied to the automotive industry. Used car sales is down for the third month in a row. The reason being, uh, repos are going through the roof. The auction site lots are full. There you go. When that happens, prices go down. Supply goes up, supplies up. Hands down, prices drop. Simple. So that's his big D saying. Don't forget to like and share. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Let's get the word out. This is what expediting, medical currying, currying, and gig work really is. Hope that answered your question to those subscribers who asked. Later.